Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back today. I'm feel also feeling very optimistic. Optimistic is a feeling word where you just know good things are going to happen. Maybe you're feeling that way too, or maybe you're feeling the opposite, which is pessimistic, where you're anticipating bad things are going to happen. Now, if you're feeling pessimistic, that can be a very strong feeling. All this week, we've been practicing how to calm down. So I'm going to spin my wheel again, and we're going to pick a calm down activity that's going to help us relax and get back to our center. So here's our wheel. I wonder what it's going to be today. Ooh, we get to do the spear again. Let's do that one more time. This is one of my favorites, too. It's called a Hoberman Spear, and it expands and contracts, and we're going to breathe with it. Ready? Let's do it three times. Take deep belly breaths. One. Two. Three. I felt my shoulders relaxing on that one. Oh, it's so nice to take belly breaths. It's also nice to be able to recognize how you're feeling. Now, boys and girls, you've been helping me pick out which mirror I'm going to use this week that's going to let us see how we're feeling. So let me grab my blue mat, and we have a different letter that's going to show us the letter of our mirror. Are you ready? Here it goes. For this letter, we're going to use one big curve. We're going to put it right on there. And guess what? We're going to use another big curve. So one and one, that makes two. We're going to put it right over here. And you're going to tell me what letter that makes. Yes, it's an O. An O also looks like a circle, doesn't it? So I'm going to grab my letter O mirror, and we're going to take a look together to see if our feelings have changed. Let's see. Hmm. So I think I know how I'm feeling. Now it's time for you to point to the picture that shows how you're feeling. Let's watch together. Can you point to the picture that shows how you're feeling? If you don't see a picture that matches how you're feeling, say your feeling out loud. If you're having a strong feeling, like scared, sad, or angry, take belly breaths. That might help calm your body down. Remember, it's so important for you to check in on how you're feeling, not just once, but throughout the day. And don't forget to check in on those around you. Have you checked in on your teacher today? Don't forget to thank them for all of their hard work. Now we have a special friend today. His name is Caillou. And I'm remembering that I used to watch a cartoon here on PBS called Caillou. I wonder if he's named after Caillou the cartoon. Now look at our friend's face. Our friend is surprised because his hands are high and his mouth is wide. Look at that. Now let's see, our friend would be sad if his lips were downturned and he was like this, wouldn't he? Oh, we forgot to say hi to Caillou. I'm sorry, Caillou, let me say hi to you. It's C, C for Caillou. Let's say hi. Hi, Caillou. Now, Miss Lara already kind of said how he was feeling, didn't we? We didn't get to guess. But look at all that wonderful motion that he's making. All right, so from there, we're going to check in on our visual schedule. Let's see what we have planned for the day. We're going to do our emotional check-in, which we already did, our weekly investigation. Now, today, we're going to do an art project. 
I'm so excited about it. We're going to do collage in our video. And then it's going to be time to sing our goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay, now before we move on to our intentional message, let's do our movement in our movement card. Are you ready to see what letter and movement we're going to do today? Ready? Da 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 da! Letter R. R for run. We're going to run to our intentional message. Let's see. Ooh, grabbing my dinosaur pointer, getting ready. And do, 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 do. here we are to our intentional message. It says, teeth help us chew our food. To keep our teeth healthy, we need to brush our teeth, we need to floss, and we need to eat healthy foods. Remember we help chompers floss? Now you've been helping me sort our different foods into unhealthy or healthy categories. Let's see, we have two today. So let's take a look. Do you recognize this food? I'll give you a clue. It has chocolate, marshmallows, and graham crackers. It's a s'more. Now, are s'mores good for our teeth? Or are they not so good for our teeth? That's right. There is sometimes food not so great for our teeth. Let's put it in here. Oh, look at our unhealthy tooth. So sad and frowny. Okay, this food is a melody of different foods. It has shrimp and corn and a little parsley. What do you think? Is that healthy or unhealthy? Yes, that's good for our teeth. It has lots of protein and vegetables. Let's put it in our healthy category. Now, I think that Chompers had a question about healthy and unhealthy foods. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, Chompers, Chompers. Come on over. Okay, Chompers, how are you today? Good, Miss Lara. Look at my smile. Ooh, you have a nice smile. Miss Lara, I have a question. What's your question? I love to eat chocolate. You do. I love to eat chocolate, too. Now, you know that chocolate is a sometimes food. That was my question. You keep saying sometimes food, but what does that mean? That means that you only eat it once in a while. You can't have chocolate every single day. That's not good for your teeth. Hmm, what about cake? Sometimes food. What about cookies? Sometimes food too. Ooh, I have one. What about lettuce? Now, lettuce is a food that you can have all the time. It doesn't have a lot of sugar, so it's good for your teeth. Does that help you understand, Chompers, what a sometimes food is? Great. Now, another thing that you can do to keep your teeth healthy, let me put you away, is to brush them. Now, we have a song about brushing our teeth that we're going to sing. You ready? It goes like this. Brush your teeth up and down. Brush your teeth round and round. Brush your teeth from left to right. Brush your teeth in the morning and the night. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, brush. Brush your teeth in the morning and the night. Now let's sing it quickly in Spanish, too. Cepilla tus dientes arriba y abajo. Cepilla tus dientes aquí y para allá. Cepilla tus dientes a la izquierda y la derecha. Cepilla tus dientes día y noche. Cepilla, 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 cepilla. Cepilla tus dientes día y noche. Really great. So now we have a video that I want to show you. We're going to learn all about an artist named Romare Bearden. He did a form of art called collage. Now, do you know those pictures I've been showing you for healthy and unhealthy teeth? We're going to use magazine cutouts like that to be able to do a collage with Romare Bearden. Okay, let's see. Hmm, it's time to watch our video. Let's watch it together, my friends. Let's make some crafts inspired by art. Today's art inspiration comes from artist Romare Bearden. He was an artist, songwriter, and author best known for his collages that told the story of American black culture. A collage is a work of art made up of lots of materials like newspaper, magazine clippings, ribbons, and other things. 
This art piece by Romare Bearden is called Mill Hand's Lunch Bucket. Do you notice that everything is pieced together? Do you see that large hand? It doesn't seem to match the person that it's attached to. Take a look through the window. What do you see? I see buildings and a tower and even a train. They look like they're layered on top of each other. Today we're going to make a healthy food collage. For this activity you'll need old magazines, glue, scissors, and paper. Step one is to cut out pictures from old magazines. The pictures should be of healthy foods that make your teeth happy. Don't forget to ask a family member before you start cutting things. You don't want to accidentally cut something important. I found a beautiful picture of some tropical fruit and decided to cut that out too. Step two is to arrange your pictures. Now you can put them anywhere that you'd like. Don't glue them down yet in case you want to move them around. For fun, I cut out a table and chairs and put them in the center of my picture. It took me a while to figure out where I wanted to put everything. The last step is to glue down your pieces. I used a glue stick, but you can use any kind of glue that works for you. And here's my final collage. I think I'll title this one, Tropical Fruit. Don't forget to name your art as well. For more art inspiration, check out Art with Miss Read Right here on Valley PBS. Now remember, you can learn more about art in the books around you and on the Sora app. Don't forget to check there. Ooh, you know what that means? Time to see what we accomplished today. So we did our emotional check-in. We did our weekly investigation where we learned more about healthy and unhealthy foods to eat that keep our teeth happy and strong. Let's see, it's time to sing our goodbye song. Will you please sing with me? Oh, I really don't like singing alone. Okay, let's stand up and we'll do that together. Ready? It goes like this. A, B, C, you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I, have to go now, J, K, bye-bye now, L, M, N, O, I had a good time, P, Q, R, you're gonna miss me, S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. Hey, my friends, don't forget to come back tomorrow. We're gonna do Fairy Tale Friday. We're actually gonna learn about the Tooth Fairy. I'm so excited to share that story with you. Until then, Miss Lara sends you a big squeeze and a big smooch Mwah! and reminds you to read, to play, and to enjoy the rest of your day. So glad you came by. Goodbye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.